The worst thing is someone who talks all the time. And if you want to challenge that, the best thing to do is to tune to any of the TV channels, particularly the financial ones, Bloomberg, CNN, and just try and imagine those people having a conversation with you as, as they, it's awful. I mean, eventually you want to scream at them, shut up. <laughs> but it was always something in the Navy that I loved getting right. And I couldn't bear watching uh, senior officers, commanding officers, you know, virtually sort of reading out some script when they're supposed to be being motivating. I really felt it was time that somebody wrote something that destroyed the nonsense that we all get bombarded with from sort of kindergarten onwards. I mean, there's so much nonsense, the black art of speaking. Most of the advice you get is all about how to. Here's a role model. Do this, don't do that. Stand like this. It's all about trying to make people do what the authors or the advisors have noticed themselves works for some people. And so they put it all together, the best of this, the best of that. You do that, you'll be good. Nobody can do that because it's not them. So we have legions of people who bore us all to death. They go to speaker conferences, they remember these rules and they look terrible. And they waste our time. Can everyone look like Winston Churchill? No. But can everyone get their audience to listen to everything they say, to enjoy thinking about what they're saying, to walk away remembering someone they thought knew what he was talking about, they trusted, and they could remember what he said? Yes, we can all do that. The, the secret is to show them that they don't have to be terrified, that they happily trot along to have a cup of coffee or a cup of beer or a glass of beer with their friend, and that doesn't frighten them. They go to dinner parties, that doesn't frighten them. Well, if you can show that that's exactly what you do in front of an audience, and actually it works because you now look at your audience and see they're interested, then the fear goes. And always remember, with very few exceptions, practically every audience that you talk to at the beginning wants you to be good. They do not want you to fail. They've got to listen to you. So they're on your side until you push them off your side.